Well, an Australian-made rover named Rover will be designed by the Australian Space Agency, NASA and Australia's space industry to go to the moon. It's going to be launched in a future Artemis mission. Joining us live is Australia's astronomer at large, Fred Watson. Fred, great to see you. Thanks for your time. It's a brilliant name, isn't it? The Rover. Tell us what sort of role is it going to be playing in this mission? Um, absolutely. It's a great name. Uh, in fact, it was uh, chosen a year ago, uh, but what has uh, propelled it back into the media spotlight is the fact that the, the consortium uh, that is bidding to build it has now been announced. It's a con consortium called ELO2, uh, and they are a group uh, drawn from industry, from the universities, and critically, and this answers the second part of your question, from the mining industry in Australia, because one of the reasons why uh, NASA has has chosen Australia to build this small rover for the lunar surface is because of our expertise in remote controlled mining, which of course is very much big business in our country. Yeah, it certainly is. Tell us a bit more about the timeline for that mission as to when it's going to get underway and, and what else it's going to involve. So what we've seen uh, today is the fact that uh, ELO2 uh, have built four prototypes, uh, which are working models of the Rover rover. Uh, they will develop that further with Australian Space Agency and in, co in consultation also with NASA, uh, which is running the Artemis program. That's the Human Exploration of the Moon program, which is uh, still uh, in its early stages, but will gather momentum as the decade progresses. Uh, and that then will produce a final version which will fly to the moon. We have not yet heard which mission that will be on. Uh, the first lunar landing in the Artemis program is Artemis 3, which is currently scheduled now for mid-2027. It's just been pushed back by a few months. Uh, so I think it'll be later than that uh, when Ruva finally <laughs> wanders around uh, and uh, carries the Australian flag to the moon, but we will definitely see it.